And to cap off what I think has been a very good first third of the audiobook, Epithet Erased Prison of Plastic, my day, as far as recording videos goes, shall end with what I believe will be the intro, the animated intro, to Epithet Erased Prison of Plastic. This season that never was. Or maybe still could be one day. Someone give this man like a hundred million dollars. We'll make it happen. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> How do you balance the irons in the fire when you keep getting burned and you live with a liar? Oh. Bad that you're being in a fit. God damn it. I'm, I'm so familiar with the other song, the, 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 the extended version, that it threw me for a loop there for a second. Then you live with a liar. Every bad that you're being inefficient while spinning your plates and washing the dishes. Ooh. You're terrified because in your rights you know you need to go and follow your taxes, breaking your back and wishing for freedom. Life's an elastic prison of plastic, you got to make it so. <laughs> oh, what I really dig about this is the shot composition, but I will say the actual value as an opening of the first season's actual opening was probably better, though I'm more treating this as a music video, if anything. Wishing for freedom. Wishing for freedom. Like plastic, plastic, you got to make it so. You could just say no. You won't ever get to normal, but if you act so rural, then maybe you can have a taste. Epithet erased. Is that it? Hi, everyone. Oh, okay, okay. Where it's actually more music intro length than I thought. I thought the whole minute 45 was animation. I was going to be impressed. This is definitely a better showcase of Molly than the first intro was. Uh, but the other intro did a better job bringing other characters in. Uh, I would definitely take the... F I love this song more, but I would definitely, as an intro, take the other one. It seemed like they hired a different animation studio, though, because it clearly feels more... I guess a little cheaper, it looks like. Not dramatically enough that I dislike it, but... I don't I'm not a professional animation critic. I don't really know exactly how to describe it. Oh boy. The hoodie was so oversized back then, wasn't it? What you gotta say, Molly? It's me. Molly. Here with Gallo. the big news. The sequel to Epithet Erased, Prison of Plastic, <laughs> is available now. In this adventure, my friends and I have to deal with my stupid sister who has magic powers and gets away with everything. Okay, she okay. She's a witch. Oh, and she's dressed as one too. <laughs> a joke. You can get the book on Ingram Spark in digital or hardcover format. And be sure to pick up the audiobook. And how much do you here. like doing these promotions? Full returning cast, music, and sound effects. Featuring all these wonderful people. Hang on, hang on. Danny Chambers is Molly. Bryn April is Fini- <coughs> Sorry. Finica. Elsie Lovelock is Wolf. I did not know that was Elsie Lovelock. That was cool. Uh, Siv Ryan was Trixie. God, it's too fast! Kylie Ignixie is Giovanni. I- Sorry, Giovanni Patage slash Murder Man, Vincent 
<laughs> Caleb Yen, Crusher and Flamethrower. Meg McLean is Spike. Cyrus Rhodes is Dark Star. Wyatt Baker is Car Crash. Brendan Blaber, Blaber. Brendan Blaber is the narr. No, he's the narrator. I did not know. Wow. The pe I I have underestimated your voice acting skills. He's also Naven and Ben. All right, M Brendan. Keith Silverstein is Graham. Tiana Camacho is Lorelai. Scott Frerix is the valet. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't read the rest of these credits, actually, because there might be characters that have not been introduced yet. Curse to me. Sorry, rest of credits. My bad. Uh, all those people are awesome, too. I know. I know. Well, if people buy enough of them, hopefully I can go on another adventure. Where maybe something nice can happen to me for a change. <laughs> That'd be cool. You look okay, you, you look like you just got done with the adventure. You look so exhausted. Let her sleep! No more promos for Molly. <laughs> no, the animation though. I dig it, but I there it, it, I guess they kind of got the storybook thing going on here, but I'm more talking about the actual character movement. Like, I, I'm going to pull up the Epithet Erased opening here. Maybe I'm a nut job. No, I don't think I'm crazy. It looks cleaner here to me. Maybe it's the arts. It's the style. I think the actual movement of animation is probably a little cleaner. In, uh... This video, but it's the style that's a little less crisp. It's weird. Sounds like I'm bitching. I really do enjoy this quite a bit. I do wish we had more of these two. And... To a lesser extent, this gent down here. <laughs> then, then, just this. You can just say no. Oh man. Tell you what, I still am excited for the rest of this audio book. What'd y'all think? <laughs>